Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is a Virgo channel only. Welcome back, welcome back. If you are new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. If you enjoy these videos, and for those of you who have already subscribed, welcome, welcome. Here we go, you guys. Um, please be mindful, these messages are general, so take what fits, leave the rest. These messages will be for the month of November, 2021. And personal reading link is in the description box below this video. All right, Virgo, I'm going to do the Celtic cross today. And I might do that going forward just to get it, shake it up a little bit. Okay, how are you guys doing? Hope everyone's happy. Hello in the chat. Hello to all the mods and all my regular supporters. Great to see you guys. All right, let's take a look and see what the messages are here. Okay. Ace of Cups in the past. Present is the Three of Wands. And position of benefit challenge is the star, Aquarian energy. Driving the reading, Ace of uh, Pentacles. Crowning is the Two of Wands. Let me put these so you can see it. Near future, the Hangman, Piscean energy. Position of you, you have the Nine of Swords. External to you. You have the Page of Pentacles, Hopes and Fears, you have the Ten of Wands, and Outcome, you have Justice with the Nine of Wands. Okay, bottom of the deck, the High Priestess. So, hmm, what's going on, you guys? So, there's definitely an energy here of keeping some secrets, hiding. <laughs> some of you might be hiding, or someone is keeping secrets. There's a little bit of mystery. Some of you are kind of in like mystery mode, uh, learning how to trust yourself and your intuition as well, really going within. Uh, some of you might be listening to tarot readings. Of course you are, you're here. Uh, maybe you are learning to practice tarot. Um, but this just, this is your card, Virgo. So this just kind of makes me feel like you are withdrawn right now. You're really not communicating. You're not saying anything. You maybe you're not talking to anybody or you're just being very selective with who you share. You're taking your, you're taking your time about, huh, some of you are thinking about whether or not to reach out to somebody. Okay. Whether or not to let your, your, your guard down to drop your guard down. I feel like you're in deep thought or you're just going within trusting your gut on something. The lovers is here. So, hmm. yeah, the lovers, the 10 of cups and the two of cups. Okay. There's something going on here. This may not just be you. This might, for some of you, this is like the energy that's playing out between for some you and another person or just in general. In your life I kind of feel like um, it's two pe it feels like two people trying to figure out somebody wants to make some kind of an offer or gesture to you like a tangible offer or gesture towards you um, in regards to love and it kind of feels like for some it's like maybe you're already friends with this person uh, uh, somebody might be in this position of wanting to take the relationship from friends to lovers. I feel like there's somebody here who supports you or wants to give you their love or be as supportive as they can towards you. Now, I feel like in the past, the Ace of Cups is here. So, you know what? Let me just pull a couple of love messages. I just want to see what's going on here. So I feel like there's a lot of, it's like I hear crickets. There's a lot of quietness here. And I feel like, hmm, somebody's kind of like thinking about reaching out to you, or making some kind of like tangible offer to you, you know? Um, kind of feels like, um, like they're taking their time. They're taking their time, Virgo. They're not rushing. One of the love messages. Engagement. Yeah, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay, Virgo. 
I don't know who this person is. This could be somebody you're connecting with now. This could be a past person. And for others, this could be somebody new coming in. Where, you know, there's this... Someone truly interested in you. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay. I do feel like somebody is waiting here for you. I feel like that was yesterday's reading. They're taking their time approaching you. But I feel like there is going to be an approach. Healing family issues. Love life benefits as forgiving as you forgive the parents. That's weird. Okay. So a lot of healing energy happening here. And I feel like somebody's taking their time because they're healing from something. I need to get some healing. How to pick up these damn cards. Okay. Ace of Cups. In the past, some of you met your, like, love came to you, you and another person. There was an energy in the past of, like, a new initiation of love or healing or something along those lines. It came down from spirit. It wasn't something you initiated, really, or that your person initiated. It feels like two people in the past just came together, and it was, like, meant to be. It was, like, divinely guided it had a, a huge emotional effect on you and this person. Okay. So there was a blessing that came in. There might have been a pregnancy or a baby that was born or a child or some type of like, maybe there was a proposal, a new relationship or a marriage offer. Or some of you just felt like this is the person you wanted to marry. Let's see what happened in the past. Okay. Three of Wands. Hmm. Somebody saw themselves with you. They saw you in their future. And you saw this person in your future as well. Okay. There was an opportunity to expand this relationship, to have love. Maybe it was a travel. But it kind of feels like... I just heard... I've been waiting for you all of my life. I feel like you and another person, before you ever met, it's like you already knew each other before you ever met. I don't, I'm not sure if you understand that, but it's kind of like when you met this person, you knew that was your person and they felt the same way. But I kind of feel like a lot with this person is that they kept stalling things out. They weren't progressing things. It was almost as if every time maybe something got started or you both recognized that the love was there and it could move forward, either you or your person or the energy just played out like, okay, the love is here, but it's not time yet. There was a lot of waiting or that you guys would start making steps going forward and then you were back to square one and things wouldn't get resolved. Okay, and that is kind of what I feel like was happening in the past. I mean, this is definitely a soulmate, twin flame type of energy where at times it felt like the struggle of a twin flame and at other times you felt like, yes, this is my person. This is my soulmate. Everything's great with us. We just, we're in alignment. We just gel. Okay, but this person would feel kind of sabotage things or just in some way. And then you would sabotage because they would sabotage. You know what I mean? Like they would put a stop to it. They were weak. And then you would become weak. And it feels like it was just a big old mess of some sort. Like something happened. It was just a mess. And I feel like both of you are in this energy right now. And this feels like a past situation. Both of you are in this energy right now where neither one of you are communicating. You're not talking. But both of you are thinking about, should we just chat? Should we just talk? Or should we actually make a solid offer towards each other? You know, it may not be you. It could just be this person. But with a high priestess, it's like, that's what I feel like is going on here with the high priestess that's what the high priestess is thinking about okay coming through with something tangible a gift a ring um, um some type of an offer that's legit um i feel like because i feel like you're both very smitten with one another you know like there's this 
kind of thing about the two of you. Like you feel it, they feel it, you know. But there's all this, um, there was always this stop, stop and start. And it feels to me like right now, both of you are thinking. Some of, some of you, like somebody may be in this position as well. Like one may be thinking about making a move forward with the other. And the other may be thinking of moving forward with somebody else. Or trying this something else there's but the, the issue is that there's no freaking communication so nobody knows what's going on you're in the position right here virgo you're present is you're the nine of swords you're like stressing you're having anxiety you don't know what's going on you don't know what to do you're not sure if you should walk away some of you feel like if you walk away then maybe it's a mistake and others feel like if you stay then maybe that's a mistake you have no clarity and for some of you like right now overall both of you it's a real challenge to have hope at this time the challenge is to renew this connection to renew this relationship it's a real it's a real real challenge because of the stops and starts just feels like a lot of waiting energy like spirit is pushing you to take this opportunity with this person but at the same time in your head you're kind of like undecided you're not sure you know you have to make a decision you either take the opportunity from somebody else or move forward or you wait you don't know you're kind of confused i feel you know some of you made the decision that you moved on but i feel like this is a lot of you still have some slight reservation about this person and you know what i feel like they do too i feel like they're kind of trapped too this person is not reaching out to you because they don't want to hear that you're done but they're also not reaching out to you because they're not sure that they're ready so it's a stalemate and you're kind of in that same situation as well. And I feel like that's playing out a little bit here longer again with this Pis uh, Piscean hangman energy going through like maybe a middle of the middle of November where there's just like trying to gain perspective here. Let me see what else to challenge. I mean, it also sits in the benefit position. It's benefit for you to keep the faith and keep your hope alive, but it may just be keep your, for some it's keep the hope alive that somebody else will come along and you can let this go some of you are maybe just waiting to meet somebody else so that you can just finish out this this release this energy from somebody from a past person and others are it's a challenge to keep a hope alive and wait for this person to make a move and also yourself let me just see this why is this challenge here Okay, yeah, so there might have been some deception and lies, and that's really what the issue is. I feel like there was a lot of tit for tat with somebody. I feel like somebody maybe lied or ran away from the connection, and so it's hard for you to have closure. You don't know where you stand with this person, and you're trying to like figure out where you stand with yourself. Um, or there was just lies and deception that kind of peppered a lot inside this relationship and it um kind of like termites on wood it just began to break down but the love was still there and a lot of you know that this was a blessed union a sacred union a lot of you know that and it's like it's all about timing but it feels like the longer you sat and wait waited for something to for someone to get well or come off drugs and alcohol for someone to get their shit together the longer you waited the 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 more damage because there was a lack of communication so the hangman is here let's take a let's take a look because i feel like there's a perspective there's like a enlightenment coming there's going to be an answer let me see her there's an answer coming I feel like some of you need to see something differently. Okay. All well, the towers here in reverse. So, and the six of cups is at the bottom. So, so 
you know, you and this person, it feels to be like you're both going to make a decision to avoid absolute destruction of this relationship. I really do. Okay. I feel like um, one of the questions some of you really need to ask yourselves about this connection is not so much whether or not you love the person or they love you. I feel like that's already been established. I feel like the question is that you need to start asking yourself is, do I feel safe with this person? Because no matter how much you can love someone and how much someone loves you, if you don't feel safe around each other, it's not going to work. And so how does that get repaired? You know, if you tell your person, you know, I don't want to lose you and I love you, but I don't feel safe in this relationship because we don't communicate. I don't know what's going on. I, you know, you leave me in the dark or they leave or you leave them in the dark. Um, I feel like safety is an issue and security. So if you were to say that to your person and they were to say to you, well, how can I change that? Your answer should be to them, become a safe person. And you also have to become a safe person. And if you've done that and you were as safe as you could possibly be, but this person wasn't safe for you, then you may need to look at the situation differently. And some of you might. Okay, this is scorpionic energy here. Some of you might take a look at this situation differently and say, well, you know, maybe, maybe I just, I feel like you're, you're going to get out of oppression, but maybe I, I need to, maybe it's just my fear of change. Even if the change is for the good, maybe it's just my fear of change of letting go because I might lose this person. But what have you really lost? You know, if you don't feel safe and secure with someone, you know, if you, if you felt like a hostage, then you have to get out of it, okay? Because look at you, you've got the Nine of Swords here. I feel like this person, though, is definitely going to come in. I mean, I feel like they're going to try to make things uh, come into a committed relationship with you, but it's ultimately up to you if you feel safe with them or not, Virgo. And if, if they do come in and they want to try to bring balance and ascend and progress the relationship and even to engagement you're gonna have to like not look at the prize at the end of the <laughs> you know behind the closed door but look at like who's opening that door you know somebody could put a ring on your finger ladies or a woman could come in for the men and you know somebody could come in in general and just say yes they want to be with you but are they someone that you feel you can confide everything in, that you can talk to, that will be there for you in the darkest of your days and, and the best of your days. That's really what it's about. It's not about the end game. It's not about the commitment so much. It's about what do both people bring to the table, right? You got a lot of anxiety. You've been stressing so much, Virgo. I see it here. Okay. You've been stressing about this marriage. You've been stressing about this relationship, about home, about family, about commitment. You know, that four of wands, you've been stressing about your 1111 twin twin partner. You have. Some of you. Okay. Some of you are just like, is it done? Do I need to make it be done? Is this person going to come back? It's not time for you to really make this decision just yet. I feel like you need to get yourself in um you know, a peaceful place, um, you're stressing about whether or not to reunite with them, or if they, if there will be a reunion, I see them here coming in with the page of pentacles, I feel like this person's got big plans, and they are going to come in and make this gesture, I feel like if you've been apart from them for however long, okay, um, some of you, I do feel like they're going, they're like, actually, they're either going to put it down on paper, or they're going to, you know, this is the page is always about bringing news and the good news is that they have it on their mind to invest to make that offer and with the knight of pentacles albeit slow this person has been taking their time this relationship for some of you in the past has been going on and on forever and ever 10 12 15 years you've been connecting for others it may have not been that long but it has felt like an eternity 
I feel like this person thinks that you are worth waiting for. And I feel like you feel that way too. Like in your heart, when you remove all the sludge and the negative aspects of the connection, you feel like this has been your person. It's just that all that other stuff got piled on top of it and it was just suffocating. And it was just a need for escape or withdrawal. Okay, wow, seven of cups in the reverse. Well, no more living in la-la land. This person, listen, Virgo, they, they have clarity um, and they get their senses back. They're restoring their senses back. They know what they need to do. They know that they do love you. I feel like they were just taking a long time trying to figure it out. Now, if they left you and... So there's a couple of scenarios here. I mean, if they were cheating and lying, then... <laughs> I mean, then no, they're not a safe person, okay? And and it's understandable why um, you might not want to take this person back, and it's understandable why you want to go find someone who's going to be full of integrity and is grown up and is truthful and honest with you. And for some of you, that was the situation. You caught them cheating um, or lying, okay? And the trust was broken in a lot of ways. And, but the problem with that is like the heart's still there. You know, the heart still loves this person. So it's a real struggle between your head and your heart. Okay. And that's why I feel like the perspective needs to be okay. Yes, I accept, I acknowledge that I love that person, but I, I always feel like we're on the edge of disaster because of the things they say or the, the shoe, the other shoe is going to drop. And it's like, you need to look at the safety aspect of the relationship. That's all I'm trying to say. That's all I'm trying to say. You know, you could, you could love your bank, but if they're not keeping your money safe, you sure as hell are not going to go into that bank anymore, are you? <laughs> You're going to find a safe bank. <laughs> That's, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you might love going in there, talking to the people that are in there. You like the atmosphere. You like the way they, they do everything in there. You, you like the people. You like the way the colors all match. You like the carpeting, good customer service. But they don't have a vault. Or they don't, they don't lock up your money. Are you going to, are you going to, what are you going to do? You'd be like, no, none of that's worth it. I don't care how much I love it. It's not safe for me to put my money in there. And that's all about investment and relationships, okay? You know, you could love, I always say you could love a certain stock, but if it's not safe, you don't invest. And I feel like you both are kind of, there's been a lot of stops and starts and stalling because, and I have to keep it real, it's not just this person. I feel like they weren't safe for you, but I also feel like maybe you weren't either, just or at least they felt that way and so that is what the issue is that because i feel like the trust has to be rebuilt in order for this to work despite the love the love is what says to you it's worth rebuilding the trust and i feel like you've just been conflicted you know and i feel like you've been in this battle between your head and your heart but the question is really not for you to look at your heart because it's already established that you love this person and they love you the question is do you feel secure with each other and do you feel secure in this relationship and if not it's either we're going to work on it commit and make it a safe place for us to both come to and feel good to be together that we can trust each other with our deepest secrets you know i feel like there's a lot of holding back as of secrets here with the high priestess from your person and from you there was a lack of authenticity or vulnerability um, full because two people perhaps were burned in the past and maybe have abandonment issues or trust issues okay um, you're stressing about this Virgo and I don't see your person stressing about it I feel like I don't you know, I'm not really sure what's happening to them, but I feel like they've gone in and they're like, they took a deep dive into how they feel. Um, they definitely feel that connection here with you. Okay. This person may have had weak boundaries in the past when it came to your relationship. They may have been supportive in a lot of ways that they could have been, but they never stood up for themselves. Um, this person was just kind of, um, 
They would quit. They would say no before they would say yes. They would quit. They run away a lot. And that might have been issues with them that they didn't feel like they could even be in any kind of committed relationship. A lot of struggle. A lot of struggle. Now your hopes and fears here is that you are at the end of this struggle. Your hopes are that this will not be a lifetime burden that you have to carry around and your person feels the same way. But the fear is that this is just going to be a continuous struggle with the Ten of Wands. That is that it was just constantly be exhausted or too much stress, okay? And that's a big worry for you. Big worry. Now the outcome is... Hmm, justice so that's libra and energy with the nine of wands <laughs> so boundaries are going to come into play here and i feel like that's really important if you are lacking some boundaries um you know your your boundaries go up when you've come into that place of self-love okay that's when you're that's when you have your boundaries up <clears throat> when you're not loving yourself then you're weak I feel like your person really wasn't, they didn't have any boundaries. And I feel like your boundaries went down with them because they didn't have any. For some of you, not all of you. Um, but I'm definitely feeling there's an energy here of things are going to be okay. Things are going to get made right. Not as, you know, it's just going to, I feel like when this person comes in, I do feel like they're going let me take a look i want to look a little bit more about your person there's a lot of um a lot of family issues from childhood maybe uh, traumas uh, or traumas with parents both of you that um dictated how this relationship went okay and so i see like maybe a, a lot of healing happening somebody's like stepping back into their looking back on their childhood Okay, the moon in reverse. See, this person is coming into absolute clarity. That's twice. Okay, the truth gets revealed. Some of you, this person, oh my goodness. This person's been dreaming about you. Like in their dreams. And not like purposely they're making that happen. They wake up in the middle of the night and they realize they just had a dream about you. Like you are on their mind. A lot. A whole lot a whole lot they feel like you too um the connection was real there was equality like mutuality between the two of you there were a real romantic partnership with a great potential there was familiarity between the two of you that's how they felt about this but i don't know this person struggled struggled to open themselves up and then you in turn would shut down and Virgos are usually not ones to open themselves up in romantic relationships unless they feel safe to do so. And the hint, the first hint that they get, a Virgo gets that they don't feel safe with that person, Virgo will shut right down. That's why they're the hermit card. That's why they're the high priestess. They go within, they withdraw. Okay, and some of you definitely felt like you weren't maybe you in the beginning felt that way that it was okay to open up and be vulnerable but uh, something happened with this person and you no longer felt safe and you struggled with that because you love them um yeah i feel like this person is going to be messaging you in november definitely okay i just want to pull another card for the, the tower here Okay, the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, for some of you, um, definitely taking a look at yourselves. Okay, you may have been uh, jealous. You may have had some jealousy or this person may have caused jealousy in you. They might have been very jealous. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, you could have been involved in. Okay, um, the stress about the relationship was there was no follow through with things. Okay. Um, or this person just tried to keep you in a stalemate position because they knew that they couldn't give you what they wanted, but they didn't want to lose you and they didn't want ruin and, you know, great destruction to happen between you. So this person kept you in a pretty bad 
position, Virgo, and kind of left you to make a decision here. And I feel like for a lot of you, as soon as you are making, for those of you who are still undecided or not sure, those of you who are making that decision to part ways, that's when they come in. That's when they come in. Let me take a look here. What's going on with justice? Because justice is like a win-win outcome here. This is the energy of like truth. The truth, truth coming out. And that's twice. This person's bringing the truth out. I feel like going forward towards the end of November, um, okay. I feel like this person was going to tell you they were very hesitant to commit to you because of things that they perceived in you. And you were very hesitant to commit with them because of things that you perceived in them. Things you saw or what they did or vice versa. There might have been like one person cheated and then, as I was saying, kind of some tit for tat. I mean, listen, Virgo, nobody's perfect. Everybody has flaws. Everybody does something. Are you to blame for somebody cheating on you? No, because that's somebody's actions that they took. Are they to blame for you doing the same? No, because those are actions you took. Whatever the case may be, um, I feel like perspectives need to change here. You definitely need to get out of this stressful energy. And you need, definitely need to figure out if, if this is something that you can keep moving forward with based on security, a sense of security. Is this person coming in to give you security? In a sense, yes, because of the commitment, like they're going to try to um, move this relationship along with you. I just don't know that you want this or that you're sure. That's how I feel. Okay. I feel like both of you, but there's still some hesitation, definitely. Although the sun is here, Leo energy, I do feel like it's a positive outcome. I feel like you guys are going to get in a position once this person reaches out to you with something tangible and real and not just a bunch of bullshit, once they do that, then I feel like there's going to be some conversation and the truth is going to come out. And that even though you both may be hesitant, you take baby steps to move something forward. Um, if that's what you want, Virgo. And like I said, some of you may not want it. Some of you may just decide like, the damage is just, it's irre irreparable damage. It just cannot be repaired. It'd be just too hard for me or, you know, to return after um, somebody leaving outside of the relationship and having an affair or a, having a third party involvement. It doesn't have to be a person. It could be a place or a thing where you were left as an option and not as a priority. And of course, as soon as you, like I know some of you have already made the decision or you're going to make the decision that you're done with this and you want somebody new or you want to, it's much easier for you to start over with someone no, new than try to repair something old and broken. Um, I feel like for those of you who are not at that place yet, then your person's going to, they're going to be ready for this. Let me see what this person's energy is. Okay, my life is not as together as it seems. So Virgo, if you see this person and they're posting all kinds of pictures of them and their, their new person or they're posting on social media, if you've noticed that they're out there living the dream, or if you hear from friends that this or family that this person is doing great and, and they have all these great successes and stuff, it's all a front, okay? It's all a front. Uh, that relationship that they're in or that if they remarried, it's all a front, okay? Um, it's, they're, they just don't want you to know. <laughs> if they cheated and you kicked them out and they went with somebody else and you th and some of you might have thought oh I guess that person was better no 
No, they never chose that person to begin with. Um, they were just, your person was just very immature and acting like a real shit stain, made a shit stain decision. And you said, oh, well, you made your bed, gotta lie in it. If they're making it seem like, oh, I, I wanted, I meant to do that. That's what I wanted. It's bullshit. It's not even real. It's their life is not as great as they maybe make it out to be. This person regrets lying to you. Yeah, because now they're getting their, <laughs> they're getting their uh, comeuppance. You know, now the consequences. Some of you are just like, well, it's not my problem. I'm choosing a new. Some of you are like, choosing a new, you're evolving, and you're taking flight. And you're getting out of Dodge, and you're not interested. And it usually goes that way, Virgo, because once you're fully finished, because you give and give and give, and once you're fully finished, that's when you finally get what you want because you don't want it anymore. And that's the only way you ever really have the things you want is when you just stop wanting them and just allow higher power of spirit to bring you what you need not what you want this person replays your conversations over and over that's what i feel like they're stuck in their head about you um maybe last conversations you had or the things that you talked about um that's really whatever you said to them virgo has stuck with this person and it's really having an effect on them like it's burned in their brain whatever the things were that you said to them the last conversations that you had with them and it's really making them think i just i see somebody going oh i think virgo maybe virgo was right maybe all the other people maybe it wasn't just virgo saying this to me like everybody else is saying the same thing about the way i am some of you told your person how they are and how they're acting and how they're being and how they're treating you and it's not good and a lot of you just left you just were like too much of a struggle try and make something work here um, they see we will be together again this person does feel they want to be with you they wish they had treated you better see they bury themselves and work to forget you so if you haven't seen them or you don't know what's going on with them you know they're like like a camel with their head in the sand. Wait, camels don't do that. Ostrich? Some bird does that. Burying their head. May not just be for at work, but they're just burying their head. You know, hiding out. It's kind of funny because it's like, <laughs> I just saw John Cena when he put his hand across his face. You can't see me. You can't see me. And it's like, yes, I can, idiot. Yes, I can. <laughs> They're, they're burying their head thinking that no one will know what they're, that they're actually not there. But the rest, they are there. Everybody can see that your head's in the fucking hole, you idiot. <laughs> Excuse my French, but I'm going to tell you what. I, I want you. I know I messed up everything. I wish I could take back my words. Well, I don't know what they said to you, Virgo, but... Listen, I know you're struggling. <laughs> I know you're str I know some of you. Don't get mad. Some of there's some of you in the chat. There's some of you in the comments who are like, "Yes, this is definitely my story." Not every day is going to be a shit stain reading. Maybe just a little. Um, but I know there's some of you struggling and I just want to reiterate. Stop looking at the love. You already know the love is there. You already hold a special place in your heart for this person. Look at the safety and let the security of the relationship and let that be the determining factor. The safety to your emotional, mental, physical, and spiritual health, not the love. It's not a battle, it's not a war. If this person comes in and they start coming in as a safe person and they start showing themselves as someone you can trust, and they do that, they're consistent in their patterns with that. That's how trust is built. Okay? Because anybody can come back and say, I love you, I love you, I love you. And some of you just get lulled to sleep and you're like, oh, I love you too. Oh, I miss you too. And what do I say about that? That's just, that's lip service. Maybe they do feel that way, but that is not what makes a partnership work. You know? I mean, imagine if you were an employer. 
you have like a business and you have an employee, um, they don't, they come in every almost every other day and they tell you how much they love their job, but they never show up for work. You'd think they're out of their freaking mind. You'd be like, well, you can love the fucking job as much as you want, but if you're not showing up for work, there is no place here for you. That's what I'm talking about. The consistency and being there and showing up and, and being full of integrity. Not lying, not stealing. Does not matter how much love is there. Does not matter how much your employee loves this job. If they're stealing out of the register, obviously not. And they got to go. And if they want to come back, they got to come back and be put on probation. Why are y'all looking through the love stuff? You got to treat this, your, your, the people, you got to, listen, you have agency. When you let somebody into your life, you're letting them walk through your, the door of your company and you want partnership and, the, and you both got to be running this shit show together or you got to get rid of that person and then you got to hire a new partner. Trust. Okay. Now this card, it's safe to trust in this situation. And I'm not looking at that because I feel like you got to make the determination. This is what it's all about. Trust and safety. Put the love on the back burner for a little while. You, you can write love messages. You can draw pictures. You can write poems all about the heart. It's already there. You love this person. They love you. But why isn't it working? Because there was a trust issue. That's all. Yep. Your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you. Yeah. So I feel like this person does. Look, you guys are soulmates. When things are good, you're soulmates. And when you're in separation, when things are a struggle, that's when you're the twin flame, and that's when the greatest lessons are being learned. And believe me, you are learning lessons from this person. This is a mix. All right. Trust your intuition. You already know the answer that you seek. Trust your intuition. It's okay to say to somebody, um, I love you, but I don't trust you enough to let you in my home. Okay? It's kind of like something like an addict. You know, it's going to, you know, you love, you love, if you have a child that has an addiction, you love that child or an older child or something. You love them, um, but every time you let them in the house, they start stealing your jewelry and all that stuff. I love you, but I'm going to love you at a distance until you can prove to me that you're not going to steal, you're not going to lie, and you're not going to cheat. That's you becoming a safe person and setting boundaries with them. And in order for them to become a safe person, they got to prove to you that they are safe and that you can trust them. Point blank period. Okay, so some of you are just retreating, and that's what you need to do. You need to take a nice long retreat. And if you need to get healing in about something here while you're in separation with this person, do the work, Virgo. Do the work. Don't just willy-nilly for like 30 days, no contact, just to see what this person will do because they always come back. But if you don't put your demands down or say, I will not be treated this way and raise your standards with someone, they will come in and do it again. So while you're taking this time out, it's not just about working on yourself, but it's also about asking yourself, in what ways am I a safe person with people? And in what ways am I being a shit stain with people? And it, was I like that in the past? Was it something from my childhood? What do I need to correct? What do I need to get to work? Because if not, you're going to leave this person and somebody else is going to come along. And if you haven't done the work, you're just going to get the same shit stain back again. All right. Okay, justice to serve. Remember that thing you were sweating over? Yeah, well, that's ending. You're in a good place now, Virgo. The truth is going to come out. The truth will be, will prevail. Your truth. Your win-win. If this person comes back and they're not coming back true and you say no, you win because then you don't have to go through this anymore. And if this person comes back and they're being true, you win. Either way, it's a win-win for you. So you're good, no matter what happens here. Oh, transition. Out with the old, in with the new for some of you. For some of you, no one said it would be easy or has been. You're in 
uh, the season in your life is transforming. You're definitely transforming in, in this new season coming in. Um, allow things to happen. Go with the flow. But change is upon you. It's time to start making those changes in yourself. What are these gigantic cards? Spiritual principles. Traditional roles bring structure and help aid you on your path. What are your spiritual beliefs? What path are you on to lead you into where you'd like to go? Check yourself, Virgo, with this past person and with anybody else new. I'm getting one more. Okay. <gasps> Moving to a safe place or a safe space. See, that's what I'm talking about. Safety, safety, safety first. Right. Love is beautiful. But safety is most important. And trust. Okay, there's a financial loss for some of you. Be careful of those stocks. Be careful with your money. Make sure your bank accounts are good. Make sure that bank you're choosing has a vault <laughs> and is locked up. Don't 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 go because of the, the love and, and the nice decor. Go because there's a reputation of integrity and safety. Okay, highly logical male. Okay, you could be connecting with a highly logical male, or you are, and it's time to be using your logic. Okay. All right, waiting for an answer. Okay. Some of you are waiting for an answer from this person. Others of you are waiting for an answer, um, waiting for an answer from spirit. And if that's what you need to do, here's one. Here's one thing. If when this person, if they come back into your life. What I want you to do is pause, okay? If this is a past person returning and you're not sure, I know some of you are sure and you're not taking them back, but if, if those of you who are not sure, if somebody comes in or comes back, or you know what? If a new person comes in, pause first and speak to God or whomever and say, hey, did you bring me this person? Or is this the work of some kind of like demonic spirit? Did you bring me this person? Please show me a sign. Okay, because if I get a sign from you, spirit, higher power, God, that this is the person you intend for me to be with, then I'll move forward with that. But if I don't hear from you, I'm not going forward with it. So pause for a minute and ask those questions because you'll get an answer. If your faith is strong, you'll get an answer and you'll know. Don't make up answers in your head. You got to be in a meditative state and listen intuitively like the high priestess for the truth. Is this person a player, a liar? Have they changed? Is this is this who you are meaning for me to be with? Let me see what your advice is here. Okay, 4 of cups. Failing to recognize the magical opportunity, missing the point distractions of daily life discontentment or boredom lost in your own world virgo you need to wake up at this time okay you need to take this situation seriously um and not let somebody come in and waste your time it feels to me like they're having uh it feels like they're having like they're realizing but that's just not enough i mean i think it's great if this person um, has feelings for you and they're they're waking up and they're no longer in disillusionment i think that's great and i think that's great they want to reach out and tell you that they got plans and they want to do this and that but that's not enough because if the seven of swords were was here and if this person was deceitful to you in the past you can take them you know what they say but then you got to tell them i need that follow through and i need you to back that up and i need you to back it up for a long time because i don't trust it Okay, Ten of Pentacles, financial security for yourself and your family, good, I feel like you all are going to choose the right bank, inheritance or retirement, peace and contentment in your life is coming, honoring family traditions, pride in the family tree and passing on knowledge. Um, one more and I'm going to pull your charms. Okay. Knight of Pentacles is what we're ending with, and that's pretty much what we started with. Virgo, your advice here is to plan, caref plan carefully before taking action. 
But once you got your plan set, then get going. Pay attention to the details. Wait for perfect timing. Wait for that answer. You'll be happy. You'll be, it's worth it. Okay. And there's a guardian angel or someone who's watching over you at this time. Just so you know, you're not alone. A guardian angel, God, spirit, a relative who's passed on. Someone is watching over you right now. All right, let's get a couple of charms. I'm pushing these out of the way. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take my decks, I think, someday. And I'm just going to like mosaic them all over a table and glue them down. And then I'm going to put glass right on top of it. <laughs> I just think it's wild and crazy. All right, let's get your charms. Okay, we have the, look, the scissors keep coming out. All right. I'm going to put these, I got to mix up my charms. Remind me to mix up my charms. Okay, here's a diamond. Virgo, you're a diamond in the rough. Ain't that the truth? Your exterior is hard as a rock. You are, you are hard as a rock, but so valuable. And you are one of a kind. You are the ultimate, genuine, priceless piece of meat. No, <laughs> ultimate, genuine, priceless of all the signs, okay? That's earth. That's pinnacle. That's a diamond. You shine bright like a diamond. And the white is the purity. You are so pure, Virgo. And you, you're just very strong. I feel like that represents you. Some of you, this person is bringing in a diamond ring or an engagement ring. Or right, you guys, like, that's just, I just feel the energy is going to show up. They're either, like, bringing it or they're putting money on it or they're renewing or giving it back to you. They want to, you know, come back into uh, connection with you here. Um, somebody has a bulldog. Or this person um, or somebody here is very kind of short and stocky maybe built like muscular very strong okay somebody has a has a dog named diamond who has a dog named diamond somebody might um or it starts with a d but i'm seeing like a bulldog this is real tough somebody likes the bulls the bulls the bulls or the bulldogs is there like a team or a sports team called the bulldogs i don't know Okay, so you also have a silver heart here. Um, oh, some of you are getting um, a diamond, or you have a diamond with a heart pendant. It might be a gift. It could be like for the holidays, maybe. It's a gift. Sorry, I spoiled the surprise. And the scissors here. Okay, <laughs> I'm just going to keep it candid. I, I've never seen this before, but this looks like a very phallic symbol. <laughs> You're giving your person a woody. <laughs> I know, right? Look at that thing. I don't even, don't ask me. I just saw it. <laughs> Do you understand? Okay, I'm not talking about it anymore. We're staying out of that. But there's definitely a scissors here and for some of you this just simply represents get that scissors you're either going to cut the rhythm because you're breaking ground with somebody or you're going to cut ties all right so that's for somebody or you you have a pair of scissors in your hands right now you're working with a pair of scissors okay so we also have the star of david somebody's name might be david <clears throat> or um hmm that's weird. That's never mind. I don't know. I was just kind of picturing maybe somebody has really long blonde hair, male or female. Somebody might be of the Jewish religion or from Israel. Okay. I don't know why I'm shuffling. Oh, I do know why because I want to get some dates. Um, 
All right, let me get some dates for you guys, and then we're going to be finished. Then I'm going to get you out of here. Oh, ouch. All right. I just heard a knock at my door. It's weird. Nobody's here. I don't know if you heard that. Did you hear that? It was just a knock. All right, let's see. What are your dates? I want to see what the, um, the upcoming dates first they want to tell me. Okay. So November 11th, something huge is happening on November 11th. 11-11. Well, this person might be reaching out. And that's right around the time that I was saying, like the middle of November. Okay. 10th or 11th of November. Could be a water sign, could be an earth sign, could be an Aquarius or a Libra. Gemini. That's it. That, that's all they want to tell me. All right, either somebody's birthday is the 10th or the 11th. And also there is like some type of um, a reach out or a communication coming around November 11th. Yeah, they don't want to tell me anymore. There's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here as well. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. All the signs are here. Um, they just keep, keep giving me people. I feel like there's a new adventure happening here. The truth is going, coming out. And I feel like um, there's fresh hope. Okay? So keep your eyes out for 11-11. Something big is happening with um, this relationship. Either you're cutting it off and you're walking away for good, or you guys are restoring and there's uh, hope is restored and renewed in this connection. So, okay, I'm leaving it. All right, you guys, love you very much. Make sure you click like, share, and subscribe on your way out. Really, please, it really does help the video quite a bit, especially if you subscribe. That really would be great. I would like to just try to get to at least the 20,000. People, somebody made a comment on my channel yesterday and today that um, they've been listening every day. Nothing's happened and that I'm a liar and all I care about is money and subscribers. And the Lord is against tarot and I'm going to be shot down to the gates of hell um, for doing tarot. And all I just could, all, the only thing I saw in that message was you're pissed off you shouldn't be watching tarot if you're so religious but you're going against the lord therefore you're going to be shot into hell and you're just pissed off and taking it out on me because the message might not have been for you or you're bitter and jaded and people just don't understand how it works okay um people don't understand that these messages are general i have a disclaimer entertainment purposes only which means take what resonates, they're meant for guidance. They're not necessarily meant for you to walk away from the reading. Every If you guys did everything that the reading said every single day, you'd be all over the map because readings are different every single day. That's why take what resonates, okay? And leave the rest. If the whole reading resonates for you, that's great. If the whole reading does not resonate for you, it's not for you. If part of it does, fine but at the end of the day once you click off that video y'all are going back into your lives and doing the things that you need to do and if you feel better walking away from the reading or anyone's reading then you're in a better position than you were the day before even if you're just here for the camaraderie you don't even care but if you're walking away from a tower reading and you're feeling worse you need to take re responsibility and accountability and say you know what? it's not working for me i gotta go and just go I'm not talking to you guys. I'm talking to that shit stain that left that comment, which I deleted and will be deleting that person from my channel because I don't need it. I don't need the negativity. I've been doing this long enough, you know? No one asked anyone to click on the video. And don't be using Jesus against me because my, my Jesus is good. We're in a good place. So... I just had to say that because I'm getting to the point now where I'm venting. <laughs> like, I, you know me. I don't take shit from anybody. And if somebody calls me out on something, you're damn right. I'm going to call it right back out on them. 
I don't care if people don't like me. I have, I'm have i not put on this planet and live up to other people's expectations. And I don't feel like anyone's put on the planet to live up to mine. So that's just how I feel about that. And I'm leaving that right there. Bring it on. Bring it on. All right, you guys. So let me go. My shopping and my groceries are arriving in like five minutes because I've been working all day. And I'm like, I'm not going out in this rain and storm to go food shopping. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Love you very much. Have a great night. Bye.